What's up guys, it's Phone Finds episode 99 and hopefully there's been a marginal improvement to the lighting because I have those lights and I have that on at the same time. So hopefully this video isn't terribly dark, but if it is, I'm sorry. There's not much else I can do. Anyway, as per usual with these videos, as I say, I'm sorry for not uploading in a while. It's just I don't have the time really, but at least I'm getting around to doing it now. I have a bunch of stuff to show, but again... Why wouldn't I have stuff to show? Otherwise, I wouldn't be making this video. So let's stop my, let me stop my rambling and let me get on to it. This is, I guess, the worst find. This is the original Microsoft Surface Duo, not Surface Duo, just the original Microsoft Surface. And I got that at Staples, which actually, I, as of now, I am no longer going to Staples. This is my last find there. And I remember I've been going to go there for weeks and it's just, nothing was there in the bin. It'd just be totally empty. And the last time I went there, the bin was gone. So I was like, yeah, I'm done with that. Goodbye. And yeah, but I don't know if this thing works because I don't have a charger for it. Oh, you can see the uh, stuff in the background. Oh, oopsie. And I don't really care to get the charger for this because these things are just completely useless. This keyboard is terrible too. I tried cleaning that and that would not get out. I mean, I guess it's kind of neat to have. Oh, you can see the fit. Uh-oh. It's kind of neat to have, but it's just like there's nothing to do with these. These are just kind of e-waste. Yes, it's the 32 gig one and it runs Windows RT. I have no idea if it works at all. Next up, we have this Huawei, be quiet, Huawei Nexus 6P, which I will never forgive the Android fanboys of 2015 because basically back in the day, it was, if you didn't have this or if you didn't have the Nexus 5X, they considered you a loser and would make fun of you. I, I was made fun of for my low-end phone. I was like, shut up, I, I can't afford better. I'm, I'm like 11 years old and they're, ha ha, stupid. But those neckbeards can cry about it because all of their precious Nexus 5Xs and these were just boot looping a year later. So I'm that's a forever grudge for me. Anyway, as you can clearly see, this thing is totally smashed. The back glass is actually cracked too, and it shows no signs of life. It does absolutely nothing. Kind of unfortunate, but I just realized the frame is a little bent up there too. Ne yeah, those That came from Target. This also came from Target. This is some weird notice phone it's a really weird brand i've never heard of that it's actually some italian brand they don't make phones anymore here's the model number in case anyone cares to look at it this has one of the for the dumb phone people out there this has a spread room cpu so or system on a chip so i'm sure the sound font or sound synth whatever is absolutely horrible didn't come up with the battery but i know it works i tested on a bench power supply or my sibling did nothing interesting at all it literally only has one ringtone on it it's just like a Really bad recording of some Android one. I can't remember what it's called, but yeah. This is a Pantec Breeze. Uh, I think it's a Breeze 3. This, I believe, came from the AT&T bin I sometimes visit. It works fine. There's not much else to say about it because I already have a few of these. It's about to die. Whoops. I have not tried unlocking it, but really no point. I've already done that with this before, so no surprises there. It's in good shape at least. Next up is this iPhone 6, which this came from the the Target I sometimes visit, and along with the at and I believe this was featured in Isaac Graves' um, Bin Finds video, and yeah, this is what I got home with, and it died, but the screen is like really messed up. The LCD is messed up, and like this part of the digitizer doesn't work. It is FMI off, though, so if I really wanted to, I could fix it. It's just I don't know if I have the motivation to because it's just an iPhone 6. They're not very special to me. In much better shape, like basically mint is this iphone 6s rose gold my roommate in college actually gave this to me but he was supposed to take the icloud off of it and reset it but he still hasn't done it so i'm gonna have to message him being like hey take your stuff off this please it's a 64 gig which is kind of neat now as i said it is in really good shape which this is my first rose gold 6s i didn't even realize that until just now this might have actually belonged further oh well this is an amazon fire oh god I think it's the Fire 7. It's the 9th gen or is it the 8th gen? I don't remember for sure. It's not the same one I had previously. This did not come from Target or any sort of bin. This was found in the e-waste pile at my sibling's college, which I can't turn it on because the power button is broken. Let me see if I can try and turn it on with my stupidly long nail. You know what? I give up. If for some reason it went back to the setup screen, but yeah, otherwise besides like this cracked screen, it works fine. It's just nothing too interesting but i do have a, a much more interesting tablet to show which is this one this is an, an azus i don't know if it's pronounced memo pad or memo pad and the way it's capitalized is weird this was came from my usual local target this back was originally just like totally falling off but it just got taped back on and honestly that's good enough 
this works totally fine. It's in great shape. Oh, notifications. You don't want to see those. And it's a neat tablet. It definitely reminds me of like the um, Nexus 7, like those type of things, because it's a small tablet. If you couldn't tell, I mean, that's it compared to my large hand. But one thing about this tablet is, yeah, you can see like the digitizer is trash. Like it barely even works. I don't know if it's like that just because it's messed up or if it's just like that from the factory. Yeah, you see it's like struggling to swipe and it's not like this thing is laggy either. Interestingly, it doesn't say it on the back, but this is one of those tablets that has an Intel processor, which kind of cool. But as you can see, like with the apps on here, oh, focus, no, see doing things I don't want it to like eBooks Japan, please focus this Japanese app. Oh, oven breaks on there. I didn't even realize that. And Yahoo, you can kind of tell this thing must have been used in either by a Japanese person or in Japan, which it's interesting that it's here. I'd never really seen an Azus tablet, but it's really sleek looking. It'd be cool if more apps support are supported, but like half the apps on that home screen are fake because there's nothing is supported anymore, which kind of sucks, but oh well, it is what it is. Next up, we have something that is going to make the iOS crazers go absolutely nuts. This is an iPhone 5 running iOS 6. Now, before you all bludgeon me about how the thing is not in immaculate shape, I didn't get this. This is not a bin find. My sibling bought this off eBay for a very cheap price. The thing's in great shape too. Basically just be like, oh look, you have this now. Which I'm like, cool, I guess. I don't really care for the whole iOS thing, but yeah, there it is. Yeah, you can see this is very real. Don't. Don't try and break into my house just to steal this thing. It's not worth it. Some information about it. It is a 16 gig. And as you can see, yes, right there. I would stop. I was six. And yeah, I mean, it's kind of cool, I admit. But someone on eBay tried selling. I saw not tried selling. Successfully sold one of these in better shape, of course. The screen was fixed for $400. I mean, I've gone on this rant so many times. But it's like, if you buy iPhones or you think iPhones are that much more valuable or even more valuable at all just because of the iOS version I'm sorry, but you're stupid like you are genuinely so stupid that you don't deserve to have a phone collection like That it makes no difference. I mean There's a slight cool factor, but does it give it any monetary value? Absolutely not So stop getting these phones and doing whatever mods to them to make the iOS version lower and trying to resell them for like hundreds like times more than what they're worth like it just 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 stop i didn't realize there was a term for this it's called legacy children but any legacy children that watch my videos you may as well like just stop because i don't like y'all that's all i have to say but yeah good to have i guess and on that note here's another iphone 5 this is just a i think this is a bin find i honestly don't remember it's on ios 10 it's in good shape it's just this screen protector on it doesn't feel very nice frames in actually quite good shape. Yeah, I say, I kind of forgot about this. This just kind of showed up and I was like, okay. But I do remember it was a bin find at least. I just don't remember which bin. Probably my regular target, if I'm being honest. Now here's an iPhone 5C that you can clearly see is jailbroken. It actually, I think still has the original iCloud on here. It was iCloud block bypass, which I'm sad it's not possible of the um, Apple bot anymore. Rest in peace. Yeah, this one's in great shape, especially compared to my other blue 5C that looks like it was chewed up by a dog. This was found in a bin, but it was at the bin at my sibling's school, which has been dry for months, so don't even ask. But yeah, cool to have, especially something in such good shape. Yeah, my sibling leaving his mark again. Oven break, a game I do not play. I don't know if I have any other oven break players in my uh, among my fans, but if I do, cool, I guess. Oh, I like the effect. Neat. Next up, this is definitely a bin find. I remember this. This is an iPhone 5S, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm, I've had a long day, but this is an iPhone 5S. This came from the AT&T bin, and it, I have not even gotten the chance to set it up. I don't know why it says there's mail on it, because it's my iCloud, and I, anyway, we're just getting ignore that. But yeah, besides the cracked screen, it works totally fine. I think it's on iOS 10? No, it's on iOS 9. Wow, really? No. It's, yeah, th 32 gig, but pretty cool. I should fix the screen on this eventually. I just, I have a lot of these. I have no time to fix these anymore, I swear. I just don't think about it. Frame's a little banged up, as you can see. Like, there's this dent there. But actually, other than that, it's basically fine. Yeah, other than that, it's basically fine. So that's cool, I suppose. And we're going to have to move over here because this one 
it's just the battery is kind of crapping out on it. But this is an iPod Touch 5th gen? I think it's a 5th gen. Let's just check to be sure. It is an iPod Touch 5th gen. It's on iOS 9, also a 32 gig like the last device. And I'm going to be honest, I don't remember where this came from. It was probably just a bin find, but like, I genuinely don't remember. I've had this for a while. It's just been mean it to show it off. But yeah, whoops. Oh, well. It's cool to have, though. I mean, I don't have enough iPod Touches, especially the newer ones. I just want more, but who knows how many people are going to throw those out. I don't think there was anything interesting on this. I think it was just reset when I found this, if I remember correctly. But see that it says it's only going 100%, but I guarantee you as soon as I take it off the charger, it's going to go straight down to 10%. So let's not. Next up, we have these two BlackBerry Z10s. I have actually wanted one of these for a while now, but I guess Isaac Graves, like, he got... A bunch of them somehow from like the company his mom works at and you're like hey you don't want these anymore you can have them and he gave me two can't remember which one it is that doesn't do okay so this one were i didn't get the chance to mess with these much but you really can't do much with them because they're on the wi-fi and i just can't figure out what to do with these besides i watched a youtube video on it and it worked that really that's really it i mean not a whole lot you can do with these anymore considering blackberry devices are like officially completely unsupported I haven't taken any pictures with it or anything. It's a sleek phone, though. I really like this design. I think this is basically just Android or Android Jelly Bean with a heavy skin on it. It's just they're sneaky about it. I know it can definitely run Android apps. I just haven't tried messing with it, haven't really done much with it. Just, again, haven't had the time to, but it's a good thing to have in any type of phone collection. I don't know what's going on with this one, though. Like, originally it was showing some error where basically, like, some website you had to go to which basically implied it has a bad battery but then it was just stuck on the charging screen when i was trying to charge it again today so who knows i don't know what's wrong with it but that's unfortunate but this one works totally fine i know that much and i don't know why this is over here oh, i guess i know why this is an iphone 6 with this neat native union case on it i don't know if it's supposed to feel like the label on jeans but that's exactly what it feels like so if that's the intention good job this came from the same bin that this 5C came from, the bin at my sibling's school. This works totally fine. There's not a thing wrong with this. Yep, you can see oven brake, so you know who used this. Or the Korean version. I I don't know the oven brake lore. That's just, I'm the wrong person to ask. Oh, and you can sign into this one. Interesting. Let's see. No. I don't think you can do that. Let's see. It's on iOS 12. It's a 16 gig. I know this one was iCloud Lock Bypass 2. It's just the same thing, the bot that no longer works, which... I'm glad it worked for the time it did because it's just devices like these where the iCloud was like inactive for years and they're just like, all right, removed. That's nice, I suppose. This might be the nicest iPhone 6 I have. Maybe. That's probably completely unfounded. I just haven't taken a look at my collection in a while. Next up, we have this Galaxy. I think it's just a Galaxy J3 V. I have more. This is not the only one I have of these, but this one's in pretty great shape. I believe this came from my local Target. The bad, like, the, the problem with this thing is it has a short in the charging port, so charging it is unnecessarily difficult, and I tried charging it three times off camera, and I just didn't want to, like, it just kept disconnecting and reconnecting, so I was like, ah, screw it. I'll just tell them to take my word for it that it works, which it does, believe me. Why would I lie about that? And I guess you could say the best find, this is over here, is this iPhone 6S Plus. This came from AT&T. Again, pretty sure Isaac Graves talked about it in the, his, um bin find video and if not it'll be in the next one but yeah this thing is great i mean it's my only 6s plus that actually works the other one i have the battery is just totally cooked on it but this one isn't a whole lot better it's also in basically mint condition it's a gold one i really like this little um pop socket it's a nice flower but the battery is trash on this one like yes i'm signed into it but if you check battery and battery health yeah, it says 77%, but I have iPhone 7 Pluses that are lower than that, and they last way longer. Like, this thing, I've charged it two times in one day, and it died, yes, significantly degraded. That is an understatement. Does this have a lot of storage? I don't remember. Um, no, it's just a 16 gig. I think my other one's a 16 gig, too, but it's cool to have. It's in really good shape, and besides the really bad battery, it works totally fine, but yeah. That's all I've got with the um, months I haven't uploaded. Not a ton. The bins have been kind of dry lately, but eh, what can you do? But I'm happy with what to, I have to show. And again, as per usual, I'm sorry I don't upload much. It, that's going to continue. I work very often. Get that bag, I guess. But yeah, 
that's all I have to show this time, so I hope you guys enjoyed.